In this video we're going to tell you how to set up your chair to make it the best it can be. We all know that we need our wheelchairs in order to play a wheelchair rugby league, but do we know how to get the best out of our equipment? We're going to give you top tips on how to sort your straps, chair mechanics and other information about your wheelchair. We'll start with wheels. You can't move without wheels, we all know this, but what exact pressure should you be using? Now on the tyres they do tell you exactly what PSI you should be pumping to, but should you be pumping your tyres to the max? It's my personal opinion that that's probably a no-no. I, from personal experience, have noticed that when I pump my tyres to the maximum pressure, 120, for my 26-inch uh, wheels, that I get a lot more punctures and I, I, get, I just get stopped in play a lot more. So I tend to go for anywhere between 80 to 100. I usually... 20, 20 PSI below the maximum probably a nice place to be it's not too soft that it's hard to push and it's hard enough that you can still have all the ability to have traction and turn and weave so in the laws of the game we need three straps on our chairs that's a waist belt a lap belt and a foot strap the waist belt generally needs to be your strongest one and that's to stop you from flying out your chair during collisions so really need to invest in some strong velcro that isn't going to wear easily you can get um, cheap straps that are around 12, 15, 20 pounds but which will work for the first maybe six months but after constant collision taking it off and putting it back on the velcro wears very quickly and you end up spending more money in the long run so if you can invest in a decent belt which has some very strong velcro it's going to last you much longer and you'll be financially much better off in the long run for your lap belt generally this is for your, your tag belt I use a um, a weightlifters belt I've got this from Argos or something like that I can't remember you can get them from anywhere but the weightlifters belt I found it's one buckle but it's got a lot of padding around the knees so you don't get a lot of rubbing and when that's fully tight that's making my legs completely solid to the wheelchair my legs cannot move freely without the chair moving and this goes for paraplegics as well or people who are unable other people who are unable to move their legs if you're trying to push your chair with your arms only and your legs are moving around uncontrollably your chair is going to be unbalanced and, and turning directions that you don't want and it's going to be hard to push so make sure that your legs are always fully strapped to the chair and they can't move you don't want them to move the last but not least is the foot strap obviously you don't need the foot strap if you don't have feet but a foot strap for anyone who does is um, is going to be the last point of contact which is going to really anchor you to your chair and make sure that if you do have the use of your legs or any any mobility in your legs you'll be able to move the chair a lot more fluid and with a lot more response last but not least is my top tip for wheelchairs and it's amazing how many people don't realize this is your anti-tip so whether you've got one or two anti-tips you must make sure that you've got a gap off the floor you must be able to tilt your chair back ever so slightly not like a day chair where it's designed so that you don't fall out when you're lifting up yourself up over curbs but maybe 5 mil, 10 mil off the floor and the whole purpose of this is firstly you get a lot more traction on your pushing wheels so if you have all three casters touching the floor you're removing grip from your push and you'll find that you slide a little bit or, or your chair you just find it hard to get up to up to speed and the second thing is when you've got the tilt and you take the front casters off the floor you're creating less resistance for turning left to right 
So when you then transition your weight to the back of your chair, you'll be able to use your hips if you use them, or your hands, and you're able to turn much faster. We hope these tips were helpful for you. If you have any aspect of the Wheelchair Rugby League game that you want us to cover, please leave it in the comments below. Please stay tuned and we will see you soon.